Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Halo 4. Uh, end of the last episode, I did a weird thing. I like, smiled at the camera like that and I just kind of dropped my smile too quickly. I'm not sure if I did. I don't really want to look at it because I will cringe. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I've been awake for quite a few hours and I slipped into customer service mode again. Uh, way back, years ago now. Longer now than it seems, but it was almost two years ago. Uh, I was discussing... I was recording Halo Reach. And I had rolled awake and stayed all the way up... Uh, stayed up all the way until 7 in the morning. Because uh, I couldn't sleep, and so I was just recording things just... To give my brain something to do. And, uh, it's almost 10... No, it's a, uh, it's almost one in the afternoon, in fact. I've, uh, recorded a couple. Hi! That's just power armor. Oh my god, I'm gonna get a Mac. The hatch to the maintenance causeway is jammed. That's so stupid, but I love it. Like, come on, this is just a Metal Gear. But that's great, I love Metal Gears. Oh, it does it depending on which foot is ready to go. This is starting to get a little unrecognizable from Halo. You know, this feels maybe more like a mech warrior. And it's not as though there are enough mech warrior games to justify me bitching about it. But again, this is the really smart thing that Halo does a lot. Where they want to like, give you a new cool toy to play with and give you way harder enemies than you have been dealing with and they do so chief we can't let the didact get access to infinity's data stores let's get topside oh yeah we have a whole new crew that doesn't know where earth is and i guess we still need to protect earth from it yeah i guess that makes sense we're now like at a time in lore where Earth's location has been again lost uh, to aliens. Wow. Mech suits, huh? I don't think there's a bad game with a mech suit in it. And if it is, it sure as hell ain't the mech suit that makes it bad. You know? Those are all games that suck despite their mech suit, not because of it. There's that one, um... Heavy Steel Armor Battalion game? Steel Battalion? Heavy Armor, maybe? Uh, as opposed to the normal Steel Battalion games, which have, like, crazy huge uh, controllers. That one uses a Kinect and a um, Xbox 360 gamepad. Now, it's a little weird to use both, but it is a way to give you more control over it. You control the mech with the gamepad, and you control your pilot with the Kinect. So you can pop your head out of your robot, you can eject yourself from it. It also has the kind of dumb mechanic. I mean, like, it's kind of a dumb mechanic, but I can't help but like it. Whereas... If your mech gets blown up, but you eject, you can load a save. But if you eject and get killed, or if your mech blows up and you don't eject, uh, your, your progress is destroyed. 
And like that is kind of harsh to just dump on people like hey Be sure to play the game right or you'll have to start all over and play from the beginning And if you're bad and haven't played this game before well, you wouldn't know and so you'll have to start over and play from the beginning but it makes sense and it's cool for that to be the case. For them to just straight up say, hey, get good or we will destroy your progress. Please stop shooting me, guys. I don't have any sh I don't have any help. Thank you. Like, not much in the evasive, uh, department for a big fuck-off walking tank. Please, every time you hit me, you stop my ability to regenerate. So, yeah. Every day I'm learning more about, like, Let's Playing. Like, just... Sometimes tiny things like eye contact. Like I'm learning like, hey, I should look at the camera for my uh, my videos more. Cause like, uh, I've only been let's playing with a camera for like half my channel's life. Not even that, like, I don't have a, I don't have like a camera for the first year of my recordings. I only get one in March of my first year, having started in May. So, you know, two months before my channel hits a year old, I get a camera. And then there's only one LP that has it. And because of the lead time, there's a bunch of LPs that are recorded that don't have cameras. And I'm, like, realizing more and more every day that, like, man, I should have a brighter recording setup. So, like, by the time you see this, you may have already seen videos where I have one. But again, that's because of lead time. But like, I've been thinking about getting a ring light. My wife says she wants to get me one so everyone can see my pretty face. And I said shut up. Done. Saw a really good Feb 1 meme today, considering reading it. I'll say it, but it's it's someone who's like, it's, it's, a, it's a 4chan green text, so like, God forbid to begin with. But it's someone who listened to those, like, like, sissy femboy hypnosis videos for, like, a couple of weeks to try to convince themselves to lose weight. And it started working, and, like, they lost weight and, like, gained ass muscle so they had a huger butt and started, like, stealing their sister's skirts and other clothes. <laughs> and then they're like, yeah, I could not do this, right? And then, like, later found that they totally could not do it. Like, didn't feel comfortable in their normal clothes anymore. And, like, couldn't masturbate to straight porn anymore. <laughs> and then the last word of the post is just, uh-oh. Ah, uh, lousy. Gotta say, has human technology actually progressed to the point where we can scare off an ancient alien super god with a gun? It's possible that they're native to Requiem, or did he just get annoyed and leave? Oh, is Promethean just the name for this schism of it? Because that makes more sense. Mr. Lasky. Infinity's mission has been to locate the remaining Halo rings and establish permanent bases to study them for decommission. Well, that's good. Yeah, locations up and running around installations five and three, but lately they've run into some setbacks. A science team got zapped excavating a forerunner artifact. This sensor data is all that was left. Interesting. These symbols are a derivation of the forerunner glyph system. And our geeks managed to pull some coordinates. I'll give you three guesses where it led. Sir, Gypsy Company is prepped and ready to roll on your order. They're still calling it that. Mr. Lasky, you take point, I want boots on the ground in 60. Captain. This is a first contact scenario, Master Chief. Priority, 
is to free Infinity from How do we still have dickheads in the future? Assessment back at Fleet Com. You mean we're leaving? Sir, Infinity drove the Didact back. He's vulnerable. He isn't the only one. Fair point, but you don't gotta be a dick about you know, it. I think you, of all people, would appreciate the benefit of living to fight another day. Who are you to benefit? Like, benefit of li- Are you hearing yourself? You're talking to space, Jesus! Is this the respect that saving humanity three separate times gets you? <laughs> Do you guys remember when the nightmare scenario was achieved and Earth was actually fucking invaded? And then Chief stopped it? And then ODST has cleaned it up and it actually didn't stop it. But like, obviously the Earth government would have dressed it up to make it look like he stopped it. That's a big part of the writing in Halo 2. Sergeant Johnson says it himself, Earth needs heroes, you know? Infinity to Gypsy Company? Why do they call it that? You can't... The air corridor you're not really supposed well to say that. by a network of particle cannons. Like, I want to do that thing that you do when you, you hear something stupid and you say an equivalent statement. But, like, the rest of them are all much worse slurs, and really, I shouldn't be saying those. I know you've been off the field for a while, Master Chief, but this is a blow through op. Sending in a recon would just slow us down. Telemetry indicates the particle cannons are being controlled. Really? How are you going to be a dickhead to the guy who Roll on that target. was the only survivor of the first Halo problem? We'll I'm calling it a problem side. because I feel like that's pretty apt. We'll take the gravity well. Kicked a ship off of Earth. You know, the planet where the humans I don't know about live. You, but I usually like a little more intel with my intel. And then successfully stopped the ranks from being fired. And then successfully stopped the arc and blew that up. Chief, Spartan Sarah Palmer and Infinity Okay, so this is the battle rifle, right? It is. On our way. So there's both a battle rifle and a DMR. It's a little weird. Thank you. Nice to see some respect. I think my real title is Petty Officer. Well, what do you got, Bo? Someone's overcompensating. Of why don't I have jetpack things? Because I've got little jet. Am I gonna have to go up and hit X to talk to this fuck? Because I'm I'm gonna drop my controller if that's the case. Take it easy. I want that, dude. Hand it to. Thank you. Ooh, look at that. A little eye hole on it. Chief. Unfortunately for us, we've got to manually bring down a couple of particle cannons. Well, at the very least, I don't have to hold X to talk to you. Chief, but again, like, the got jet packs on there's board. so much if talking there, in this I game. One. I feel like, yes. Hallelujah. So what? They work like Reach. Gypsy Company, this is Captain Del Rio. The board is green. Oh, wow, yeah. Nice. Please stop calling me that, sir. <laughs> Gotta say, I like how it's, like, less of a backpack and more of this, like, huge... Hello. More of this thing that extends like off of the back up and away from the body because the thing about having jetpacks that look like backpacks is that you're gonna shoot fire down your butt and back of your thighs what do you think of that del rio but yeah having this and like you have to like lean into it makes a lot more sense in terms of actually controlling and having a you know a jetpack that you can have So yeah, one thing that I have, I've heard a few things, um, I think they're mostly about Halo 5, but, uh, there's this guy named Locke, and they try to play him up as, uh, the Chief's rival in 5, even though he already has a rival, it's the Arbiter, but 
I guess they become too friendly in three, so who cares? But yeah, they try to make Spartan Lock out as Chief's rival, and like apparently Lock beats Chief in a fight, or alternatively doesn't get his ass kicked quickly enough. And like for this young gun who is, you know, he's a Spartan four, he's been in there for like five years, versus Chief who is like born, bred, raised, brazed into this. Like, maybe you're Mary suing Spartan Lock a little bit. I've also heard that they also attempt to try to arrest Chief. And people are like, you know what, yeah, we will arrest the Messiah. Like, again, it's only been four years. Oh. I remember those things. They were an underutilized mechanic in uh, Halo Reach. In fact, like, if I remember correctly, there is a level where you get to use a tar uh, target designator. Did you not keep this thing loaded, son? Forgot I had the uh, other thing on. Gotta be more careful. Really want to see that thing blown up. Sorry, am I the only one shooting guys on this thing? Hey, you don't get unscoped and uh, when shooting guys and they, when guys get sh shoot you, in fact. Something that they actually talk about in, um... Half-Life is, like, the protagonist's ability to survive things rather implausible. And a chunk of this thanks to, uh, the fact that he can redo things as many times as he wants to. Guys, are you serious? You were driving that thing for all of four seconds. You guys got soft while I was away. Didn't have the chief whipping you into shape anymore, huh? Uh-oh. Go, chief. Will this kill me? It shouldn't, right? It's only a little drop. Whatever. Okay, now please. How could you do this to me a second time? See, one thing about making Chief a Spartan is that it... It means that Spartans mean something to people and in the and in the world. They mean something inherently. Because like Joe Schmo, who's a random fuckhead who you know can't drive a car ten feet without getting toppled, he's not a Spartan. 
That guy sucks. He'll never be a smart. And he's not. That's the whole thing, you know? And so, like, Chief is the only guy who can drive competently. He's the only guy who can, like, shoot everything, as opposed to, like, shoot a few things and run out. Target those phantoms for the railgun to shoot down. Can I shoot this thing? Uh, I gotta... I'm being railroaded here. I really love that thing Cortana did where she uh, overdrove my uh, my suit buttons and made it so I could boost a ghost forever without any shield. I'm glad we'll never see that again. Because you know what? I really feel like that's going to be a thing. I feel like that's never going to come up again. What do you mean objective complete? What did I do? Guys, wouldn't it be fucked up if I just, like, sat down here? <laughs> Somebody said the N-word on it. Twitch has already banned his account. Someone was driving that! There he is! <sighs> oh my god! I didn't realize that we were, like, this flippant with our military resources. Guys, he had a family. <laughs> Little Timmy's gonna wonder where his dad is in a huge fuck off, like, Tonka truck <laughs> ran him over. Did they just call it that because of the recently uh, finished uh, Pacific Rim? Because that's. You know, still doesn't feel great. More covenant. Cool. Railgun reloaded. Man, wouldn't it be hot if I like sat with sat on this gun with my legs over each side? When it fired, I would like bounce a little bit into the air and hold on with my hands. That really works for me. Yo, I saw this animation of like a thick like lady Spartan, like performing an assassination, whereon she like ground pounds a man's face with her huge Spartan ass cheeks and like. I don't care if that's in the game or not. I don't care if that's in Halo Infinite or not. I need that to happen to me. Today, if at all possible. Chief, you dumb bitch. You better go do this. What, are we not doing this anymore, guys? I'm being a railroaded. I feel like this has been nerfed. I definitely feel like this has been nerfed, in fact. This stream is bad, Chief. Rape. Somebody started talking about how they don't like Minecraft. Patrick Rothfuss is talking about how he's not going to finish his book. You know, that's one of those things that might actually have become undated, or uh, become dated by the time that I finish this. And I'd be uh, pleasantly surprised by that. Oh, shit. Patrick Rothfuss appears to be diametrically opposed to the idea of finishing 
the trilogy of two books he started. I mean, people have been pitching about for this for like eons now, though. For those who don't know, Patrick Rothfuss wrote the Kingkiller Chronicles, which is properly speaking a trilogy. Book one came out in 2010. Book two came out in 20. Nope. Book 2 came out in 2010, Book 1 came out in 2007. It's about the three year time between 1 and 2. It's uh, at time of recording 2021 and we have not seen Book 3. Hide your hair of it. It might have been announced by the time that... Uh, two for two. Finish him off. By the time that like I'm into this, but... I doubt it'll be out. But who knows. Uh, I bring it up because today I saw a post about how he wants Lin-Manuel Miranda to appear in the HBO Game of Thrones style TV show adaptation of his book and I was like I was in the middle of the gym in fact and I looked at my phone and I said finish your book Pat like the article is is discussing a old thing but like you know there is a lot of uh music in the king killer chronicles maybe he could get lin manuel miranda in it he would need to finish the book though i feel like people are, are definitely well more appraised on writing a thing that doesn't have an ending fuck you guys i feel like people are a lot more well appraised on you know, things that don't have an ending. Yeah. Just can't do that, I guess. After the fiasco that Game of Thrones turned into. Two for two. Finish him off. Oh, this guy. Like, I feel like Game of Thrones has just, like, completely fucked itself. Because George isn't going to finish his book. And if he does, it is not going to come out with the same, like, holy shit, it's the new fucking Game of Thrones that it would have had the book come out when the show was still relevant. And, like, boy, is the show not relevant. The show finished, people all saw it, and they all separately said, well, it sucks. And then everyone stopped talking about it. And that's the really fucked up thing. Damn you. Because... Oh, can I still jetpack with that thing on? It might drop it, but I could, like, cancel. Yeah. Okay. At least I know. But, like, yeah, like... George R. R. Martin, like, if the book dropped the day before the HBO finale, then people could be like, well, now I don't care about the HBO finale because I have this to read. Yeah, and Chief is dead. Please, save him. You guys can't send somebody to pick me up? Kind of... I can't sprint for more than a second. Do I have a stamina bar I'm not seeing? Be kind of weird. <laughs> like, and another thing, I feel as though now, like, nothing could live up to the hype. Because, like, initially the problem was that Game of Thrones was not going to live up to the hype. And then it destroyed its own hype. Hell yeah. And like now nothing nothing will save it from the hype like event horizon that we've created here. Mammoth won't last long out 
the open like that. We'll have to find a way to keep the covenant off. Them. Can it not be this big gun? Come on, you're telling me that America didn't space America no less, didn't put in like a thousand like backup plans for the gun. I can take that, right? Well, I was very brave. Does, does this work? Does this count? Is that not the... Okay. When they say ammo, do they mean ammo or do they mean a thing with a gun on it? Because they are different. So are you a Spartan? You kind of don't look it, but... Love a good gas hog. They put this huge open thing that way, and it's directly in front of the way that you start driving. Why wouldn't I go that way? Really now? Is this the way I'm supposed to be going, 343? Three, three? Does this make more sense than the gigantic open path? Oh, you had to time it? So, it's so the best. Did they really have to make the grunts sound like Vocaloids with the settings turned way, way down? I've been doing a new one of those every episode, and I'm a big fan of myself. Is that... Oh yeah, I guess they've nerfed the fuck out of the Magnum, so... Oh, this means a bad thing for the ship, right? Careful, your brother died when he uh, got stepped on by a big thing. Thanks, Chief. It was getting a bit dicey there for a minute. Well, thank you for uh, appreciating me, Lasky. Lasky, this is Infinity. Status. Mammoth's in pretty bad shape, sir. She'll make it to the objective as long as nobody starts throwing rocks at us. Not a chance we can take. I'm sending teams out to pull some of their fire off you so you can make it to the gravity well. Roger that, sir. Gypsy, let's move. Sure, I guess. This is so not a lossless pro like production. Put some pressure on those other particle cannons. Castle reading five by five. On station, ready to assist. Shadow actual to infinity. Encountering enemy air. Significant EOF closer to the emplacements. You know, one thing I like about Metal Gear is that they always have whatever an acronym is short for put in little italics or something like that right after the actual use of a possibly 
unfamiliar military italic. Am I in Blood Gulch? They don't care about you. They replaced you. That's true, but it's okay. How? How is this okay? How is putting you at risk because I can't hold it together okay? Because we don't have an alternative? Because we're gonna die? Understand what rampancy is? Really? We don't just shut down. Our cognitive processes begin dividing exponentially according to our total knowledge base. We literally think ourselves to death. You know I won't let that happen. And if it happens anyway. <laughs> He's like a baby. He's like a child. <laughs> Like, you know, son, one day grandpa's gonna have to die. No, uh. -uh. Go, Commander. We got significant blockage up ahead. I think this is about it for the mammoth. I mean, as I mentioned, you know, just because nobody's done it before is so, never a reason Chief can can't do it. Alone. We'll see you back on Infinity, Commander. Because, you know, Chief has done it a billion Let's times before anyway. In the books as well. Yeah, I'll take this. It'll at least be full. Can I sneak this through this side? Thank you. Oh, I am a great avenging angel. Man, that is a gun noise. Okay, I've been noticing this here and there a little before, but does the, listen now, does that not sound like the heavy's gun spinning up in Team Fortress 2? Ooh! That time we didn't get a chance to hear it. Listen. Like, there's almost no stock effects, stock sound effects, I should say, used in this game. Um, I don't feel like there's a lot used in the original trilogy anyway. But, like, they have completely unfamiliar sounds the whole game through. Like, again, not necessarily a bad thing, but it does make the game unfamiliar for veterans. And I feel like some of the sound design of the original was better. I will say, I love a lot of the new gun sounds. Is that the jingling of spent shells? Clattering to the floor because that's awesome. Nice shot, idiot. Fuck. Try to be fancy. have more fun doing that. I'll, I'll be honest, I don't like sniping. It's a dad thing. Which is to say, like, it's a thing that my dad likes doing.
Which is a very real thing that absolutely just blew my goddamn when I was, uh... Because, like, I, I was more in tune with my with video games than my dad was. And, like, now... He honestly might have periods of time where he plays more than me. And he does play more mainstream shit. Like... He played the most assassins, uh, the most recent Assassin's Creed. And like, it blew my mind to learn that he had accidentally built himself a fucking stealth archer for when he first played Skyrim. And what's more, that in Rage, the first, like, real first person shooter he ever played. Alright, now I'm seeing why I'd want to pack a longer gun. Uh, Rage was the first, like, real first person shooter he ever played. And I don't mean that because it's made by id, you can hold nine weapons and it feels classic. I, I mean that because, like,. Uh, it was the first game where you had a gun and a first person's perspective that he ever played. Because, uh... I can't sprint. I don't know what's up. Because, yeah, my dad got into gaming, like, kind of late. I totally could have made that jump if it was Reach. Now that's what I call a jump shot, says a six foot five man who'd never played basketball. I've definitely told this story before, maybe not on the channel, but in general. One time, a man came up to me and asked me to join his like wrestling team or f baseball team. Or it was football, it was football, that's what it was. We were at like a drugstore, like a CVS or a Walmart or Walgreens or something. And just randomly, apropos of very little besides seeing me and that the fact that I was a fucking colossus and standing next to my dad, he was like, he came up to me and was like, do you have any interest in football? And I was like, uh, no. And as it happened, he was the coach at my rival school. Not that I, like, cared too, too much about what my school had in... by means of rival. But, like, imagine the gall of... Like, what were you going to do? Did, did he assume that I went to his school without, like, remembering that he, in fact... was the second largest high school in a district with three high schools. Like, come on. Wow, they made the rocket launcher like more oomphy. Well, they changed the amount of oomph, but run chief. That's a pit. Like, it's not a safe bet to assume that I'm just a kid who happens to go to your school who you haven't seen as well. Wow, that sounded great in my head. Shout out to my wife for these headsets. Right. Damn you, Anton Chekhov. Sorry, focusing in hardcore. 
But yeah. Rando at a drugstore just asked me to join his football team. And like, yeah, he was the actual coach as near as, uh, coach, as, near as I could tell. And like, I know that I was 14. No, I was like older than that, actually. I was like 16. Yeah, he should have definitely been able to pick up on the fact that I was uh, queer. And as a result, not uh, a fan of sports. Queers who like sports are an extremely rare breed. I'm gonna say though, I have observed people observing sports, and I think I like that better. Cause like obviously it's a it's a whole thing of like the new generation to be like, uh sports, that's for men. I don't you know. That's a great sound effect. And like Being able to care about sports sounds like vaguely interesting to me. I don't care myself, but like, it sounds like it might be cool. Much better. <laughs> like, the amount of stuff that guys get done just by talking about sports. Power to him, you know? My conversations have to be about lore and things, you know? There's this friend from high school that I still remember semi-fondly. And like, no shame to him, and really to me either, but like, literally all we had to talk about was Dark Souls. Like, we were good friends until we ran out of things to talk about with Bloodborne. And then we weren't good friends anymore because we didn't have anything to talk about. And then when Dark Souls 3 came out, we had more to talk about. Until that ran its course. We couldn't talk about, like, PvP because we had just talked about, like, everything that we had already done. And we were, again, done until the DLC, and that was about it. So, Grant, if you're out there, no shame, but... We kind of did only talk about Dark Souls. Oh, and Berserk, but... Again, that's like, for those who don't know, Berserk is kind of the same thing. Uh, just notice that I've been sitting at the bottom of my camera this whole recording, but also it is, as they say, about that time. I want to see, I want to see checkpoints. To take us directly to the coordinates Infinity provided. Almost like those sentinels wanted us to get the particle cannons offline. Ooh, could it be that I'm the chosen one again? You say that like there's a second possibility? I see going like psycho bonkers, yonkers crazy hasn't uh, removed your ability to be snappy and snippy, huh? Uh, that's it for this episode, everyone. Thank you all for coming. Uh, I've been Alfred. Thank you for stopping by. This has been Halo 4. I hope you all have a good day. Uh, see you all next time. Bye.